This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Lisa Smith. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. More than half of Ohio's population has now started their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. That's a little more than 5.8 million people. According to the Ohio Department of Health, nearly 61% of adults have at least one dose, while 58% of kids ages 12 and up also have at least one dose. Today, Miami and Xavier universities are requiring face coverings indoors, regardless of vaccination status. This applies to students, employees and visitors at both schools. Both UC and NKU began requiring masks while indoors on campus last week. Starting today, a six week closure will begin at the intersection of Columbia Parkway, William Howard Taft Road and Torrance Parkway. We're told lanes will be reopened as concrete repairs are made. Crews will dig up and repair the road base, then re-pour concrete one lane at a time. The project started in late April and is expected to wrap up by early November. And now let's check in with Sherry for the forecast. Well, we have some showers that we're going to get water for your lawns as well as for the gardens today. It's a minor disturbance, but it could trigger a thunderstorm or two out there that could be on the stronger side. We have this marginal risk. That means we would be dealing with those showers with gusty winds. Otherwise, we get some much needed rain. We haven't had any for over about eight or nine days or so. Temperatures are going to likely make it into the lower to mid 80s for today. Tonight, those numbers come down to about 72 degrees and for your uh, Tuesday, expect the highs in the lower 90s.